are now at the Red Deer Salvation Army thrift store. Let's go on in and see what we can find. If we can find anything. Music is a little bit loud in here, so I'm going to try and talk over it. And talk lots. <laughs> It's a trinket dish. Not that old. Made in China. $2.99. And it's got a hole in it. I'm not sure why. It's a Las Vegas Owl Bell. $4.99. Some ruby red stemware dollar ninety nine each these are not cut to clear I don't think they're just made to look like it these are 1970s I believe okay I'm just gonna quickly scan the shelf here because I don't want to get a copyright strike so we'll see if anything pops out at me that I gotta have and I'm not seeing anything here, so I'll go to the next aisle. Alright, we are in the, I don't know, cream and sugar section, salt and peppers, there's some teapots. Oh, I see, oh that's cute. Not that old though. What is this piece here? It's not marked. Harvest wear. Six ninety nine though. A little bit too much, I think. Some dinnerware. All right. This little one is pretty cute. It's plastic. $2.99. Some Blue Mountain Pottery, $7.99. Duck from um, Jerry, 2002. Man, they sure play their music loud here. Piece of pottery, $3.99. All right, well, I'm not really seeing anything over here. So let's go check out another area. Let's go. So I just spotted this piece of pottery on the end cap. It is stamped and it has a lid with it, which is kind of cool. The inside is glazed, but there is no price on it. <laughs> So I'm gonna put it in my cart and we'll see how much they will sell it to me for. We're getting a little bit further away from the music <laughs> in the metals section. This looks like Turkish pottery or Turkish copper, I mean. It's pretty light. It's pretty rough shape. Copper. That's fun. Looks like a hobbyist piece though. It's a pretty fun piece though. I like the color and the glaze. A trinket dish. Six dollars. I think that's resin. I don't know. It doesn't feel it doesn't feel like quality. Fish. Those look like they are hand sculptured. You can see the finger marks inside. Kind of neat. $3.99 each. That's fun. It's not that old though. $3.99. Oh, 
Oh, I just feel like the dancing queen right now. I just want to start dancing through these aisles. All right, well, I'm over in the blankets and linens, textiles, and I'm gonna have a quick look through here and see if there's anything. And if not, I'm gonna go over to the Value Village, which is just around the corner, so. That's pretty cute. <laughs> All right, well, I will get back to you if I find anything worth picking up here at the Salvation Army. And if not, I will see you at Value Village. All right, I got the piece of pottery for $4.99. She was gonna charge me $9.99, but I got her down to $4.99. <laughs> and now I'm gonna go and check out the Value Village and our vehicle and bowler are parked right here. So I'm gonna drop this piece of pottery off first. All right, Value Village. Once again, I am going to be very picky because we're traveling and we're still going to go to Edmonton as well and do some thrift store shopping there. So got a little bit more thrifting to do. How cute is that? $2.99. Betty made that hobby piece. Super cute. Well, when they sold it at the mine, cute little baby planter. Japan. That is not pottery. I don't think it's really lightweight. It doesn't feel like pottery. Looks like it, but it does not feel like it. With every success, every time I get wooden duck, you put a twenty dollar bill in. It's for little candles, so it's hardly worth it. I'm not sure what this is. Aqua Velva. Ah, okay. I found a whole wall of figurines. A cute cat made in Indonesia, chips on the ears. And there's loud music over here, too. All right. I do not want a copyright strike, so I'm going to have a look through the shelf, and if I find anything, I will be back to show you what I find. I just found this lion piggy bank. It is made in Italy. And it does, I don't know if that's just something dirty, if it'll come off. It does have a tiny little chip right here. It's more of just a paint chip, so I think for $4.99 I'm going to pick this up. Hopefully I can get that off. And this can easily be touched up, so. We'll grab some dinnerware. That's a beautiful pattern. Made in China. I love the color, love the pattern. Okay. Let's see. We've got teacups, coffee cups. Don't need either of them. These are the made in Japan coffee mugs. A dollar ninety nine for two. Oh, that's pretty decent. A dollar per mug. I have sold quite a few of these mugs in my shop. So I'll pick them up for two bucks. Kitchen storage, canisters and jars, There's a trinket, wooden trinket box, this, I don't know, marked, signed or something, I'm not sure what that says, 
$3.99. I think we'll pass. Here's a sponge frog, really poorly done. So we'll leave that guy. Oh, this is super cute. A honey pot. $3.99. It's made in Canada. It is stamped. That looks like the same stamp that was on the bottom of the piece of pottery I just bought from Salvation Army. I'll just make sure there's absolutely no chips or cracks on this one and I will pick it up because it's just really super cute and it's stamped and it's only four dollars so I think it's a blue day. <laughs> it's a blue day at Valley Village. I was just gonna totally bypass this whole section and then I saw this teapot poking out. Made in Taiwan. How much do they want for it? $7.99. I don't know if that was like made in Sweden or Germany or something, I probably would pick it up, but it just doesn't really have a nice quality feel to it. It's in decent shape, but I just don't think it's worth a whole lot. So I'll leave it. All right, well, I think that is all that I'm going to find here today. So I'm going to go check out and I will see you outside total my total was $14.10 and that is everything for today so thank you so much for joining me until next time I hope you have a great day bye bye